okay now it is live so that uh, other people also can get that so right now observe what is the one we are learning service example so in this service example what are the steps i need to follow what is the first step create the class and provide what is the decorator at the rate injectable decorator so observe i am going to here and i am removing this one and first step created service right now i am going to call it as user service i am not writing anything fancy sir observe what is the name i am what is the name i am taking user dot service dot ts why because i am creating a service suppose i am creating the pipe at the time what is the file name i am, to, I am going to take user dot pipe dot ts what is the file name i am going to take user dot pipe dot ts yes uh, can you give me the confirmation are able to listen the voice today is a little bit uh, network related that's why i am asking multiple times thank you guys so right now i created the file and observe very simple class so in typescript always start with what's a export class what is the class name i am taking user service so i created the class so the first step is completed what is the first step sir create a class and provide at the rate injectable decorator now i am asking the question everybody need to give this answer all decorators are available in which package all decorators are available in which package very good sir angular core package angular core package now observe very simple import what is the next one sir angular slash core and what is the decorator i need to uh, i need to configure now injectable what is the decorator sir injectable sir i provided the decorator at the rate what is one i am providing injectable so everything is ready so now i created the class and i provided the decorator now i am writing one simple one what is the method sir register what is the method register so right now in the same way what is another method i am providing login and in the same way what is another method i can provide logout now tell me what is the services i am pro what is the service one so okay observe here sir what is the first one user service user service <coughs> okay let's wait for that yes buddy uh, i just i am not telling any that's why it video is stuck okay wait for few seconds wait for few seconds okay let's continue with that guys uh, is it okay now vijay can you please give me the confirmation okay thank you guys okay uh, register very simple i am writing console dot log i am in the register method i have three methods sir in my service class i am in the login method so tomorrow or day after tomorrow we can work with this one now i am asking the question how to call the register method call the register method how to call the register method sir suppose if it is not like this how to call the register method using service object very good sir by using what is one user service object create object for service class but right now in angular everybody understand this one right how to call a class method sir by creating a object for the class but right now my requirement is 
it is a service for service in angular you create or framework create framework we need to use them we should not create them we should not create them so observe i am create i am providing the methods what is the next step register the class observe what is the section we are having sir providers what is the section we are having providers and what is the class name sir user service user service now observe now observe what is the service i imported sir user service and i added the service in what section provider section so what are the three steps in the service definition sir create a class and at the rate injectable decorator what is the next one register the service class name in module provider section in the module provider section what is the next one sir inject the service class object to the component right now observe very simple i am not writing anything fancy observe console dot sorry what is the one i am writing constructor very simple private us variable name what is the service i required sir user service what is the service i required user service now you can understand this one so right now sir i want to get what service the user service so automatically angular provide user service object to the component user service object to the component so very simple sir think like app component as a person think like app component as a person he is suffering with fever what doctor will do sir he will inject the medicine or not he will inject the medicine in the same way my app component required what functionality user service functionality so framework automatically inject that framework automatically inject that injection is nothing but providing what is the common man terminology providing who is providing framework is providing to whom sir component right now what is the dependency injection sir providing object to the required class providing object to the required class is called as about dependency injection one of the interview question let me give you the interview question definition what is dependency injection what is dependency injection now i am asking the question tell me sir what is dependency injection providing what is an dependency injection providing in the terminology or uh, angular terminology or framework terminology providing dependency object to the dependent is called as dependency injection now i am asking one simple question what is the dependency and what is the dependent right now think and tell me the answer what is the dependency and what is the dependent now guys it is a straight forward answer very good ekta very good suraj narayan so what is the dependency here providing what sir dependency object to what sir dependent is called as dependency injection dependent is a component class very simple observe dependency so dependency is a service class dependency is a service class and dependent is a component dependency is a component or service also sometimes a service can in can have the dependent of dependent of another service also it is also possible i can we, we can discuss this one in the coming classes now i am asking the question 
right now who is providing the dependency object who is providing the dependency object framework framework to whom sir dependents who are the dependents in general either component most of the time it is component sometimes we have services also sometimes we have services also or directives also so all these are possible so let us go to the class and let us revisit the one now i am writing one simple method so m1 observe i am creating i am writing a one button observe button login usually we create the login button like this on click call m1 function on click call what function m1 function so i created the m1 and in the same way let me create the another methods also the first one should be register and second one should be login and log out i am not writing anything fancy here sir i am writing the basic wiring means application calling procedures m2 m3 now i register three methods what are the methods sir m1 and m2 and m3 so let me write the m1 m2 what is the next one m3 now i am asking the question so right now if i click on this function i am calling m1 now here what is the logic i need to write what is the logic i need to write this call should be handled by component or should be called the registration logic of the server service program should be called what call what what method sir registration method which is available in what what service what class sir sir user service class service program very simple observe this dot what is the one us dot what is the function register observe alert for understanding i am in the m1 so let me have the same way for other also what about m2 sir i am in the m2 i am in the m2 now i am asking what i need to call here what is the second method we are having login how to call the login sir this dot variable name dot what is the method we are having login so likewise observe m3 what is the method we are having log out is a method we are having log out so instead of console log let us go with the alert so everything is ready everything is ready let us run the example cmd ng sir so program able to execute successfully let us go to here local host colon 4200 so guys observe first it is calling what function m1 function which is available in the 
component then it is calling what function register function now tell me what is a execution flow what is a execution flow so right now you are accessing the ui from the template request is the, is going to what class request is going to the service or request is going to the component always give me the answer request is going to the component or request is going to the service always request first will go to the request first will go to the component request first will go to the component then component will call the what what area service area then component will call what area service area so this is what i am expecting so right now what is the execution procedure in the angular sir what is the workflow of the angular template provides the ui for any data and event who will react sir component based on the requirement component should communicate with the server by using what program service program again i will repeat the one who will provide the ui so i am asking the question who will provide the ui template very good sir who will provide the ui template so if you see template is a very long word you can uh, react or you can re you can chart with you can in the chart window you can say t also that is fine so right now template is good but who will manage the ui very good who will manage the ui component c who will mm, communicate with the server service now i am asking now i am asking what is angular flow sir tcs what is angular flow tcs so everybody understand this one so today i am going to recreate the whole flow once again i am asking everyone to participate in this session sir i will ask the questions meanwhile so let us go with the different layers so this is our basic example even i am removing this also now what is the first step sir according to our flow what is the first step create the class create the class and provide the at the rate injectable decorator so very simple i am creating you can take any name sir if suppose if you say product service observe product dot what is the one service dot ts product dot service dot ts now what are the next steps sir what are the next step create a class export class what is the service name i am taking product service now tell me class is created now i am asking the question what is the decorator i need to provide for every service how angular identify this class as a service what is the decorator sir at the rate injectable very good sir at the rate injectable very simple statement import at the rate angular slash core and what is the decorator injectable decorator now let us provide this one now at the rate injectable so what we are telling to the framework this class should have only one object for our project not more than one so i provided this one what is the next step sir provide some methods so i am providing one simple method what is the method sir add product add product so i am going to say alert in the add product logic in the add product service logic so everything is ready now tell me we provided the class we provided the decorator and we added the method what is the next step sir how module know this is a service class in which area i need to provide this uh, service class
in which area i need to register the service class very good eknath module module and what section i need to use sir providers what section i need to provide providers observe module i need to have a new one what is the one i am going to provide providers now everything is ready now tell me what is the service class name product service what is the service class name product service so first import the class and register in what area providers area providers area now tell me the second one is also finished register the register the service class name in the module provider section what is the next step sir inject the service class object to the component what is the next step inject the service class object to the component what is an what i need to do right now what i need to do right now okay i write the constructor i write the constructor but this constructor what is the definition i need to write in the constructor what is the first one service observe private what is the next one service name product service and what is the what is the one product service this thinking about the old code that's fine now observe import the product service and declare the dependency so i am calling m1 now what is the code i need to write alert i am in the m1 so now i am asking how to call the add product method on the 16th line what is the code i need to write i want everyone to type in this answer if you don't tell i don't write i don't continue sir very simple i want everyone to type in this answer very good so right now observe not m1 sir so right now i want i need to call what is the function name i am having add product what is the function name i am having add product so that is why what is the code sir this dot product service variable dot what is the method sir add product so in this way we are delegating or we are sending the call to the another service area so very simple how to uh, bind this one what is our button what is our sir add and observe what is the code i need to write here from the component sorry from the template always call the component method what is the component method sir m1 so what is the logic i need to write here click equal to m1 click equal to what sir m1 so everything is ready let us run the program i guess it is good now observe add so this is my ui from the ui what we discuss from the ui first always will go to what sir component that is why observe click what is the first one it is hitting i am in the m1 so if you click on this one which function will be called first sir m1 function will be called in the m1 function we are providing the things in the same way observe next step is what sir calling the service logic calling the service logic so this is the way we are going to work it out and this is our first example this is our first example so what is the second example sir a component can have more than one dependency so what is a statement i am made i am uh, i am announcing here very simple a component can have more than one dependency so how to do that sir very simple i am going to show you the code before that i am going to copy this code in for our example purpose new 
ഉണ്ട് സർവീസസ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് സിംഗിൾ സർവീസ് so let us give the another service let me add a user service itself observe what is the one sir user dot service dot ts i am not writing anything fancy here i am just repeating the old work sir very simple observe what is the next step sir export class what is the class name sir user service user service now what is the decorator i need to provide injectable at the rate angular slash core and what is the decorator we are having injectable provided and at the rate injectable provided and i am writing one method what is the method sir register register and i am going to say alert i am in the register method now you need to tell the next steps i created the service and i provided the decorator and what is the next step to uh, use this service sir where i need to register the service yes module providers in the module providers now go to the module comma what is the next one we are going to provide user service module service tell me we register the service what is the next step sir go to the component and configure as a dependency configure as a dependency configure as a dependency what is the next steps private what is the service name us variable name you can take abc also that is totally fine user service now observe right now first angular create the object for what class sir product service class then it will create the object for what class sir user service observe i am going to provide m2 observe very simple now how to call the register method how to call the register method you already know what is the code sir this dot this dot variable name what is the variable name sir us dot what is the method register so this way very good sir now how to integrate with the ui very simple use the event binding now i am asking the question what is a username register and call what function m2 so this is the way we are going to register now let us go to the ui you can observe if i click on the add observe it will go to the m1 first then it will go to the product service add product now if i click on the register first it will go to the component m2 function from there it will go to the user service register method now i am asking the question with this example it is crystal clear that my component can communicate with multiple services or not say means it is it is a yes or no question a component can communicate with what sir multiple services is it yes or no question yes sir why because it is clearly telling that app component able to communicate with what's the user service as well as what's a product service now this is the one you need to print in your mind that a component can have multiple services so tomorrow we are going to see the little bit complex example but today let us let us let us over you what we discussed today what is the purpose of the services to communicate with the server we can discuss those one how to work with the service what is the first step create a class and provide at the rate injectable decorator register the class in the module provider section 
inject the service class object to the component. Why I need to inject? So let us uh, step back. What we have right now? How to call a class method? How to call a class method by creating the object for the a class by creating the object for the class. But right now in Angular, everything maintained by Angular sir. Angular create and maintain all the objects. So service objects also created by Angular. How to get these objects? So very simple by using one concept. What is the concept, sir? Dependency injection. Sir, what is dependency injection? Providing dependency object to the dependent is called as dependency injection. So here the dependency is the service class and dependency is the component or service or directive also. Sir, what is the uh, flow? What is the flow, sir? Template communicate with the component component communicate with the service template communicate with the component component can sir, communicate with the service so this is the normal way sir a component can have more than one dependency of course yes so let me show you that how to do that very simple this is the way so so in this class what are the dependencies for my app components sir? product service service one as well as what sir service to sir what about these variable names variable names of your choice you can also configure we cannot have duplicate but we can we can have as we like so but the usual standard is what the letters the first word first letter second word second letter will be combined ps and us it is nothing but it represents a service layer you can have elaborate names also that is also fine. So this is the way we are going to define and we can have the things. So let me copy this example as well as the notes so that you can practice in your system.